in town. And Rachel, do you feel like you need to be there as well from what you said? Well, from the standpoint of um, the development downtown and, and why we see it happening is that um, families needed more space and it provided the residential part, the, it was perfect for families to move down there. There are five new public schools that have been built down there. They were built during the uh, Bloomberg administration and um, below Chambers Street, there's 110 million square feet of office space in the city, of, just to put it in perspective, in the city of Chicago, there's 100 million square feet of office space. So it's really a city within a city, and it's the um, 60,000 families live there now, and we know by 17, there's gonna be 70,000 families. So I think that um, the rebuilding of the World Trade Center and the 9-11 Museum, the Memorial Park, um, putting them all together, they are predicting that there are gonna be 15 million visitors a year. And of course, this has created enormous, enormous visitor and residential interest of people going down there. I think also, um, in the decade before, downtown, because it was mostly office and not as much resi residential, there's only like 25,000 families living there. Um, so it was more a five day a week business center, and now it's a seven day a week business center. So I think there's just such excitement and also every new trend of retail is somehow there and within it. Like, you know, uh, David mentioned Italy. So, so many of the good food halls or sections for food within centers now are celebrity chef driven or some great concept from Europe or, or elsewhere. And what it does is it keeps the people there. They spend more time there, and it becomes sort of a meeting place. And it, it's not just shopping; it's just it's a lifestyle. Yeah, I don't necessarily think there's a was is a, a need to be there. It's a matter of looking at opportunities. I think and a lot of that need for looking at different opportunities really grows out of as some other co founders said about the Soho rents really getting ahead of themselves. We have some brands in Soho, and from a branding perspective or it's a better fit for them. Um, others that could be in Soho also were turned off by the expense that was made Soho what it is and sort of what got us to where we are today, which left that door open for looking at these opportunities. And we discussed for a long time with David's team and, and also Brookfield's team and we're, we have a Bottega Veneno open at Brookfield and we'll be opening Gucci in, uh, in just a few weeks time. Um, but a lot of looking at that also had to do with the permit population, as Laura was saying. It's, it's the Battery Park City, it's the Tribeca people. Um, and it made sense on that, because the sense of having a, having people as permanent population, along with the working population that are there, really what drove those decisions. They, those were markets in and of themselves that we felt were the things that could support uh, business. Um, the tourist component of it is sort of the cherry on top at the end of the day. So we're looking forward to Westfield opening. We think that as a combination of, of as a full destination of, for shopping and the connectivity of all of it, um, it's just gonna be a net benefit for everybody. Michael, if I, I could just add, and, and, sure. and this is a compliment to the room and, and, and those who work in this network. I don't believe after the tragedy of 9 11, any other country in the world could have delivered, or any other city in the world could have delivered what's happened in Watcha. But I think that's a compliment to the spirit of New York. And if you think of the campus in relation to what Larry Silverstein, who I felt like the warm-up act for today, but unfortunately he's not, he's not arriving, and, uh, and what First Corporation, and what the Port Authority, and, and what our partners, our brokerage partners, and our retail partners have come together. I don't think that could have happened in any city in the world. And, and when the lights go on, I think we can all be very proud of this from a global lens.